Another great example comes from social networks, where we can use matrices to encode friendship relations. So for example, let's say that the rows and columns correspond to the people in a social network, and the entries of the matrix are either one or zero, depending on friendship. So the i comma jth entry is equal to one if person i is friends with person j, and it's equal to zero otherwise. This is a very special type of matrix called a binary matrix. All of the entries are either zeros or ones, and this shows up all over the place. For example, if you're familiar with Facebook, this has a symmetric matrix, meaning that friendship is mutual. If I'm friends with you, then you have to be friends with me as well. A sub i j equals a sub j i. However, not everything is like that. Consider the example of a social network of authors where this binary matrix encodes who is influenced by whom. That's a very interesting sort of binary matrix. That's an interesting sort of social network. It's kind of similar to what you see with Twitter that has an asymmetric follows matrix. So you can follow me without me necessarily having to follow you back. These types of binary matrices are really interesting and all over the place.